Today we'll talk about the evolution of human rights and the role of the United Nations in promoting and protecting these rights. According to the UN, human rights are rights inherent to all human beings regardless of nationality, place of residence, sex, race, religion, language or any other status. These rights are all interrelated, interdependent and indivisible. The term human rights is included in the UN Charter, which makes seven references to human rights as one of the fundamental purposes of the organization. However, the Charter does not define human rights and does not specify the UN's role in protecting them. In 1948, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was signed. This was the first attempt by states to specify what the UN meant by human rights. The declaration contained 30 principles that reflected an incredible level of compromise in the negotiation process. After the declaration was signed, members of the UN moved to make the principles legally binding through treaties. Today, there are over 25 UN human rights conventions, including treaties on the elimination of slavery, refugee status, genocide, the rights of children, and against torture. The UN has various mechanisms to address human rights, such as the Security Council, the High Commission for Human Rights, and the United Nations Human Rights Council. Although the UN's human rights machinery is impressive, the results have been mixed to poor. There is often a gap between the law on the books and the law in action, and states regularly oppose stronger action on human rights or engage in human rights abuses. The United Nations Human Rights Council was created to replace the former UN Commission on Human Rights. The Council has 47 member states elected by the UN General Assembly with three-year terms. Some have criticized the Council for focusing too much on condemning Israel and not enough on other countries known for human rights abuses. In conclusion, the area of human rights has seen a great deal of evolution over the years and the UN has been at the center of the development of human rights law. Although the results of the UN's efforts have been mixed, the organization continues to play an important role in promoting and encouraging human rights. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.